We'll guide you through how to join your own Minecraft server. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So we're covering this if you're trying to join your own server, which you're hosting on your computer, or whether you're using a Minecraft server hosting provider as well. Let's go and get started. So if you're hosting a server on your computer and you want to go and join it, all you need to do is go and open up Minecraft like so. And what you can then do is click on multiplayer, press proceed, click on add server or direct connection. And for the address, all you need to do is type in localhost, one phrase like so, press done, and it will go and add it. I can select it and click on join server. And like that, I've now gone and joined the server. However, that's only going to work because you're hosting it on your own computer. If somebody else wants to go and join it, you'll need to go and do this. So for now, let's just come and close out of Minecraft. You need to make sure the server is running open up a web browser. You want to go to a site called playit.gg. Type it in your address bar and press enter. And here we are. So then what we can do is go and get started. First of all, go and click on download like so, and you can then click on Windows installer. Find the installer you just downloaded and you can then go and double click on it and you can go and run it. Once it's finished, click on finish. And now what you need to do is come to the bottom of your computer, click on search and you need to go and type in playit.gg and you can then run it. You go and see this here, visit link to set up. So all you need to do is click, hold and drag over it, press control C to copy it and come to a web browser and paste it in. You'll be brought to this page here and you can go and sign in with an account or create one. It then says, wait for the play it program to connect to our servers. And now it says the play it program is set up, click on create tunnel. For the region, I'll use the free version, but you can upgrade to the premium if you wish. For the tunnel type, you want to get select Minecraft Java and you can then make sure enabled tunnel is selected and click on add tunnel. Where it says update local address, just go and click on use Minecraft defaults. You may need to scroll down to go and click on it. At the top here, you're going to have the address and port and also another address as well. And what you can do is send either of these to your friends and they can join them. You can use them as well. So let me go and copy this one and then go and add it to Minecraft. I'll click on add server and I'll paste it in by pressing control V. I'll press done. And then as you can see, there it is. You can click on it, click on join server and join it. And your friends can do the same as well. Last of all is if you're using a Minecraft server host. If you're not already, definitely consider using one. I'll put a link down below to Apex. A big thanks to them for sponsoring this video. There are so many benefits, for example, 24 seven servers, Otherwise you have to leave your computer running the whole time if you're hosting yourself, support, and so many other awesome features like instant setup. So, and at the moment you can get a discount. So if you're interested, there'll be a link down below in the pinned comment and the description. After you've bought your server, or if you already have one, come onto the panel. And then what you need to do is go and locate either the subdomain or the IP address and port. This will apply to other server hosts as well. And all you need to do is go and copy it, whether that be the IP address and port or subdomain. You can then return to Minecraft. You can click on multiplayer, click on add server. You can paste it in by pressing control V and it will then be listed. Select your server you added, click on join server. And just like that, you've now gone and joined it. 